So following the prehistoric period, we have the Archaic time period, which is about 5000 BC to about 1000 BC. Glaciers in North America are going to recede, climates are going to change, people groups are going to be forced to stay in a similar area, not necessarily in one place, but in a similar area. And what's going to evolve in the state of Oklahoma is a community of foragers, typically known as hunter-gatherers. Much more nomadic than we would be considered today, but also not as nomadic as people were when um, we were in the prehistoric period. As a result of this, we're going to get people that travel along the plains, but we're not necessarily going to get people that are going to travel through continents during the 4,000 years that we are uh, talking about during this time period. Again, long period of time during this time period. So what did they hunt and they gather? Well, Native Americans hunted and gathered um, more common animals and plants um, that we have in Oklahoma today. So buffalo, deer, antelope, elk, jackrabbit, cottontail, coyote, wildcat, and turkey. They're going to harvest nuts, berries, roots, and seeds. So this is not farming, right? This is hunting and gathering natural things that would have been there without human intervention. A lot of times when we talk about farming, um, there's something that's intentional about farming. And so um, the hunter-gatherers do not have large farms. These are people that um, forage stuff that happened that that would have come naturally from um, growth that uh, humans did not cause. But the natural resources and the animals that live in Oklahoma resemble the ones that do today. So um, many of those things that they hunt and they gather exist in the plains today. As we saw in class, they used the atlatl. Um, and the atlatl is um, a mechanism to throw a dart, which is a thin spear, um, at great speeds, faster than you could throw um, overhand. And um, the atlatl helped them ensure that they would be able to kill and use the items that they hunted and they gathered. About 2,000 years ago, so this would be 1,000 years after the Archaic time period, around the turn from B.C. to A.D., farming comes to Oklahoma. In your notes, I'd like you to write down what is required to farm. You might have said weather, water, and soil, all of those things Oklahomans, as we've seen in our presentations, have. Four prominent farming regions, the Grand River region, the Ouachita Mountains region, the Cimarron River region, and the Canadian River region. The farms are not going to be very large, and they're not going to be super sophisticated. So there's not massive irrigation. There's not a ton of things that people um, would resemble farming today. The farms are going to look like community gardens, garden plots that provide food for a small amount of people, not for thousands of people, but maybe for an extended family. Um, they're going to grow things that grow naturally in Oklahoma, and that's about it. They're not going to grow anything too extravagant. Um, as we saw in our presentation, right, a lot of those things grow in the plains. Wheat, corn um, are going to come um, actually through Europeans, but um, there are a lot of things that uh, grow well in Oklahoma that they're going to um, see in these small family plots. So what changes? The history textbooks will say European explorers in the 1500s will disrupt and change everything. But that is from a Eurocentric perspective. What if the textbook was wrong? Things were already changing at the same time as European explorers came to the New World. But since everything was written from a Eurocentric perspective, the only answer could be exploration. 
in Oklahoma and around the Western Hemisphere, people were adapting and advancement was happening. Some of the key changes. Climate in the panhandle was changing. It's difficult, more difficult to farm there. Um, so people were moving east to more fertile land. The other things that were changing was that technology was being developed and improved, right? The movement from hunter-gathering to farming, there's something that is intentional there. People are moving and working and doing things that hunter-gatherers didn't really do in Oklahoma um, and in, in the Americas before this time period. That's not to say that Europeans didn't provide many things, but to say that they're the only reason that Native Americans became sophisticated is not true. Technology was emerging that was making farming easier. They were able to use new tools. There was the greater ability of water. And they were developing things that were allowing them to um, make farming more efficient so that they could live longer. And one of the things that comes with being able to live longer is what was happening in Europe. So during the Renaissance and this age of exploration, the thing that drives that is specialization. Specialization is always a turning point in human history. When we are able to specialize, we're able to move away from the need to hunt and gather to be able to farm and provide food for people who didn't want to farm. So they could specialize in something else that pushes human history along. So for example, if you are someone who wants to be a doctor, you can be a doctor because of specialization. You can specialize in medicine because you don't have to be someone that hunts and gathers. So over the course of the archaic and then in the post-archaic time period, so from about 5,000 BC um, until about you know the early first a couple centuries, um, this is the shift that is happening in both Europe and in the New World. As we moved farms in the Americas and as we moved to um, farms in Europe, we don't have to any longer use survival as the number one thing, right? Because food and water are things that um, are provided by the family organization and group. Um, the um, farms provide food, which allow people to Specialized, so survival was no longer tied to what you could hunt or gather up. It frees people to do di different things. You are a product of specialization. I am a product of specialization.